My name is Dr. Rashmi Patel and I am a psychiatrist and medical researcher at King's College London using CRIS to investigate clinical outcomes in people who have psychotic disorders such as schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. This work is part of my clinical research training fellowship from the Medical Research Council. CRIS offers a really exciting opportunity to do clinical research using data from a very large number of people receiving mental health care in the South London and Maudsley NHS Trust. This means that you can answer research questions which would otherwise be impossible through other means. One example is a study I have performed to investigate the impact of cannabis use in over 2,000 people with a psychotic disorder. Using a technique called natural language processing, I identified whether people with a psychotic disorder had used cannabis prior to their first episode of illness. I found that around 50% of people with a first episode of psychosis had used cannabis and those who did were more likely to be admitted to hospital and spend around 35 extra days in hospital in the five years following their first episode. I also found that cannabis use was associated with an increased likelihood of failure of antipsychotic treatment, suggesting that people who use cannabis are less likely to respond to standard treatments for psychotic disorders. Up until now, we had very little understanding of the impact of cannabis use on response to treatment in people with psychotic disorders, and clearly it would also have been impossible to perform a clinical trial to investigate the effects of cannabis use for ethical reasons. This study illustrates why CRIS is such an innovative and important tool for mental health research. In another study, I investigated how long it took for people with bipolar disorder to be diagnosed and to receive treatment after presenting to mental health services. People with bipolar disorder experience periods of depression and mania which can be very distressing. The good news is that there are effective treatments available, but the problem is that people can experience delays of several years from first experiencing symptoms to receiving treatment and the treatments available are more effective if they are given sooner rather than later. In my study, I found that the average delay from first presenting to mental health services and being diagnosed and receiving treatment for bipolar disorder was around one to two months. However, I also found that those who were dependent on alcohol or illicit substances had delays of over two years to receiving treatment for their bipolar disorder. This might be because the symptoms of bipolar disorder were less readily detected among this group of people. This highlights the problem of diagnostic and treatment delays for people with bipolar disorder and suggests we need to develop better early intervention strategies to identify those who have developed bipolar disorder and offer them treatment sooner.